This masked robber and his mates have just ram raided a jeweller's in Sparkbrook in Birmingham. The male shouting was tasked with, quote, crowd control, unquote. And in this video, we are going to break down what happened, how the gang were caught, and how long they have been banged up for. The incident happened on the 3rd of March 2022, when the gang of five individuals used a fleet of four stolen cars in the raid, which netted them nearly £300,000 worth of jewellery. This is the moment when a stolen Toyota Hilux was used to smash the front of the jewellers. Note how the thieves had deactivated the reversing lights on the stolen Toyota, a tactic often used by criminals when they expect to get into a chase with the police, as having no reverse lights gives officers little chance to react during the pursuit when the criminals try to ram the police. Thankfully, no customers were in the shop and no families were walking past the shop. It does not take a genius to work out what could have happened if a small child had just happened to run past the shop at this moment. Before we carry on with the rest of the story, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Here's some CCTV footage from another angle that shows the moment when the Toyota Hilux was used to repeatedly ram the front of the shop, narrowly missing passers-by. As everyone else looks on, this guy picks something up and throws it at the thieves. Despite his best efforts, it wasn't enough to deter this gang of hardened criminals. Meanwhile, outside, a stolen black Land Rover Discovery was used to block one side of the road, and a stolen black Toyota Corolla was used to secure the other side of the road. As the raid went down, this individual who was carrying an axe kept people away. Meanwhile, back inside the jewellers, three of the gang set about smashing the display cabinets with a sledgehammer. They ended up making off with just under £300,000 worth of jewellery. A staff member was present during the raid and only narrowly avoided being injured by the falling debris. After filling their bags with over a quarter of a million pounds worth of jewellery, they leave. As response team officers rush to the scene, they get back into the stolen Toyota and make off from the area. Little did they know that they would all end up being caught. The thieves drove just over half a mile away where the Toyota was dumped. The five individuals involved in the robbery then got into a stolen Audi TTS and a BMW 420 which were used as getaway cars. During the subsequent investigation by detectives from West Midlands Police, officers established that the gang had parked their getaway vehicles here less than an hour before the raid on the jewellers. In total, the five masked raiders would end up being sent to prison for a total of 72 years. Before the thin blue line caught up with the gang, the ringleader, 42-year-old John Gourlay, was caught on CCTV less than two hours after the raid, selling a stolen bangle for £1,500 in the jewellery quarter of Birmingham. Gourley was later convicted of conspiracy to rob and being in possession of an offensive weapon. He also admitted to stealing the Hilux, fraud by false representation and converting criminal property. He was sent to prison for 16 years. During their investigation, detectives would find tags from the stolen jewellery on the sofa inside the home of 51-year-old Trevor Boylan. He was sent to prison for 14 years. 44-year-old Leek was found guilty of the robbery, but was found not guilty of the theft of the Hilux that was used in the raid. He was sent to prison for 14 years. This is 38-year-old Arfan Latif. For his part in the robbery, the judge sent him to prison for a total of 16 years. This is 26-year-old Hassan Zulfikar, and he was the youngest member of the gang. During their investigation, detectives found CCTV footage that sold Zulfikar going into an auto parts store in the stolen Audi TT and purchasing tape pads for affixing number plates. Detectives were able to link him to the stolen Land Rover after recovering the backings to the pads in the vehicle. Following the investigation and successful prosecution, in a statement, West Midlands Police said that all five men were linked to the incident thanks to the extensive phone investigation work, which linked the suspects before they carried out the raid and also linked their movements and connection with the vehicles during the raid. Detectives also managed to link data recovered from the Land Rover, which showed the group taking possession of the vehicle on the 23rd of February 2022. It showed the movement of the vehicle, indicating it was parked near Kimver Croft, where Latif and Zolfika both lived, Southgate Road, where Leek lived, and Schoolacre Road, where Boylan lived. 
The gang's ringleader, John Gourlay, was the first to enter the jewellers during the raid. He attempted to smash a display with his hand before instructing another gang member to use a sledgehammer on the remaining displays. Remarkably, when he sold one of the stolen items for £1,500, Gourlay wore the same clothes from the raid when he entered the jewellers just a short distance from the crime scene, less than two hours after the incident. Police haven't said how much of the jewellery was recovered following the investigation. But what do you think of the sentences which were handed down? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, any comments or questions which are sent with a super thanks will always be guaranteed an answer by one of our thankful team. DC Patrick Falden from the Force Priorities team said, This was clearly an extensively planned armed robbery, with careful thoughts by the five defendants going into disguising themselves, the vehicles and the locations of their phones. This robbery took place in broad daylight on a busy street and must have been horrendous for anyone witnessing it. The staff member inside narrowly escaped serious injury, if not worse. The offenders managed to make off with nearly £300,000 in jewellery. However, after excellent investigative work from our officers, we were able to provide sufficient evidence for the jury to convict all five men for being present during the raid. We are delighted that all five have been convicted. It is a testament to the tenacity of officers at West Midlands Police and a firm deterrent to criminals considering a similar crime. If you just happened to be walking down a road and you saw something like this, then what would you do? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to help support our team of former emergency services personnel, then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Think of YouTube's channel membership as their version of Patreon. You'll get loads of perks including access to unseen content, as well as getting previews to our next videos before anybody else. So if you're interested in becoming a member, click on the link that we're pinned in the comments. And don't forget to sign up for our free newsletter on Substack. You don't have to be a member of the emergency services to sign up for the free newsletter. And it's the only way to ensure that you never miss any of our videos or stories. You'll find the link for the newsletter in the video description. Please give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, check out our other videos and playlists. We have lots of content, the majority of which you probably haven't seen yet.